Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today I'm talking about skimmers and refugiums. Um, this tank has not had a working skimmer in, man, I would say like two years. Um, I had this thing running very, very low power, um, and it's finally crapped out on me. So, this system has basically been running with just the refugium, the dosing pumps, and the water changes, um, no skimmer. So I just figured I'd show you guys that. Um, and it is interesting how the Chato looks in different environments. Um, different types of flow will make it grow differently. Uh, different lighting will give it different colors. And the more nutrient rich it is, the darker it'll be. So just thought I'd show you guys that, but what I am going to do tonight, just to find out if this water's really been holding a whole lot of skim mate and there is a problem and, you know, I really do need a skimmer and when I plug one in, it's going to go crazy. I'm going to take this skimmer over here from this system. Um, I do need to order a new one, so we're going to find out just for sure if we do, what size. Um, this skimmer's worked great. This is a coral box skimmer, and I've had this for a while. It's a DC motor, and it's got a JBO pump on it, and it's been great. I've, I've not had any complaints with that at all, and that has been fabulous work. You can see how dark the skim aid is on there. Um, it's unbelievably, unbelievably working. Now, we do have a lot of fish in here. The more fish you have, the more waste you will get the more reason you will need a skimmer. So, we're gonna find out when I take that system out. Now, I'm not gonna clean it because I want it to, to work and function. Everyone says there's a break-in period in skimmer, so I'm not even gonna clean it. I'm gonna just take it out of there, and I'll clean the top, the cap, but not the skimmer neck. And I'm gonna put it over here, and I'm gonna turn it on. So, just wanted to get you guys feedback. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Is the skimmer going to go crazy? Is this thing going to fill up um, and overflow? Because it's been two years since it's had a working skimmer on it. So let me know what you guys think. There is a very limited amount of fish in here. I do not feed this tank um, as much as I should. I spot feed the corals, but it's nothing like the other tank. So. Compared to the size of the bio load, there is an extremely huge refugium for this bio load. So, I'm kind of curious myself. But stay tuned, guys, to find out what will happen with that skimmer. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend, and thank you for being part of the Coralist community.